good lad. <coughs> Black Labradors. What isn't there to love? Love them. Um, obviously, he is a thick set or thicker set show strain. Okay, completely different. No, wrong. Not a completely different breed or a completely different animal, but a completely different lineage, completely different heritage, completely different strain, completely different way of thinking to what a working strain would be. Same as show strain cockers, same as, um, come on in, working cockers, all right? So you look at him and you go, flip it out, look at the size of him, he needs to go on a diet, what a fat he is, okay? He's not, that's just the way he is, because he's a show strain Labrador. But he's not here to go to Crufts, he's not here to be a show strain Labrador and to win rosettes and to trot around the ring like so, like so. <laughs> you can tell I don't do it, can't you? He's here for manners because although he's just over one years old, what he's very, very cleverly done, come on, come on, good lad, good lad, good boy, come on, yes, go on, go on. Good boy, prime example there. What he's very, very rapidly learned is how to control his environment, how to manipulate everything to his favour. So he'll start walking like so. And the owners, no fault of their own, okay, lovely, lovely people, the owners will go, here's some cheese, here's some cheese, to keep him walking. It doesn't take the brains of an archbishop to realise, mm, if I start walking, guess what I'm going to get. So, through no fault of the owners, he has manipulated them in every form possible during the day, every single day. He has controlled everything and he is to the point of dictated how they lead their lives by being stubborn, by being ignorant and not listening, etc, etc, etc. Cole, come, good lad, come on in. Good boy, good boy. There you go, good lad. A little bit of stubbornness there, but it's a psychological battle that we have to win. Good boy, come on in. Good lad, good boy. Good boy. And... I talk a lot about it, about it, leadership. You have to lead them and show them that you are in charge and in control. It's not about alpha. It's not, not about being a pack leader. All that stuff went out of the book 30 years ago. But you do have to show them an element of leadership so that they look up to you. They respect you. They see you as something to follow. Good boy. Good lad, come on. So literally, we're just starting the the basics off with this young chap and teaching him being stubborn isn't going to get what you want in life. However, if you are susceptible to me and the lead, come on in. Good lad, stubborn again. Check. Good boy. Good lad. Get all the praise in the world. Good boy. But more importantly, for this case, each case you treat differently, we're not putting food down his neck on purpose because I want him to learn food is not a motivator however if you're nice and polite and well-mannered and courteous you'll get all the praise in the world come on bud let's go now he's starting to pick it up good lad yeah you got a bit of zip there haven't we mate got a bit of zip there coming in good lad heel heel good boy no I want you on the left good lad good boy well done mate so gradually but very, very slowly, we're teaching him he does not control, he does not dictate, he does not manipulate everything in his world. We do. And that's the important thing. <laughs>